channel. So if you are new here, my name is Manon and I'm from France. Hello, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you around my French kitchen. I think it's so fun to uh, watch that kind of video because I used to watch a lot of videos like that about uh, American kitchen, American houses, American all kind of stuff before I went to the US. So I, was, I thought it would be interesting to you to see what a French kitchen look like. So of course, not all French kitchen look the same. Sometimes when you think about a typical French kitchen, it's usually the older uh, kitchen we used to have, like the old wooden with a bunch of uh, um, you know, pans everywhere hanging and all that stuff. You can still find a lot of kitchen like that. However, a lot of modern houses uh, like me, like it's still kind of more modern. So it's not like maybe you think of a typical kitchen, but I will show you a lot of typical French thing we have uh, in our kitchen that you guys probably don't have in the US or it's not common and also things that we don't really have in our kitchen that you guys do in the US. So I'm just kind of going to go around the house, the house, not the house, the kitchen and kind of show you a bunch of uh, different tools and food uh, that we have uh, in the fridge and everything. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and kind of let me know in the comments if there are things that are completely similar from where you live or if there are things that are so different that maybe you've never seen before and uh, yeah, I hope let's do it. So first we can see my fridge. So the fridge is really small to a lot of fridge I've seen in the US. They're like double doors where you open them like that and they're really big. This one only has one door and it opens like that. And it has a freezer uh, at the bottom. So first, what's in my fridge? I'm going to show you some key ingredients that we almost always have in our fridge and that we buy almost every week. And that most of people I know already always have this in their fridge as well, or at least very frequently, very often. It's just kind of, uh, and, ah, what's the expression? Uh, really standard uh, key uh, ingredients you're supposed to have in your fridge to do a bunch of random, like pretty daily recipes. So it's not random, daily recipes. So it's just things that are <coughs> staples, staples, that's the word. Staple uh, ingredients we have in our fridge in France. Uh, so of course, again, not everyone has the same in France. We don't always eat the same, but it's just staple things that most people have. So the first one is crème fraîche. Um, so crème fraîche is something we use all the time. We always have crème fraîche in our fridge because we use it for a bunch of different recipes or a bunch of sauce or sometimes just to put on pasta or anything. We always have crème fraîche in the fridge. Then we always have some type of uh, milk. So um, I don't drink milk very much, but my parents do, especially in the morning because like someone said in my comments, uh, as French, we do eat it. We do it, yeah. But we do drink uh, some café au lait in the morning sometimes. So café au lait is basically kind of a café with milk and we do it uh, in the morning. And when we drink that, we drink it in a bowl. Do I have a bowl somewhere? Yeah. So we drink it in a bowl like that without a handle. Uh, we, drew, we put our uh, café au lait in there and we drink it. So that's something you will see in France in the morning. Sometimes we will do that. But otherwise, in the rest of the day, if we do drink uh, coffee, especially stronger coffee, we'll drink it in an actual coffee cup. But uh, in the morning, it will be in a bowl. So yeah, that's for café au lait. Then we have uh, always some time of pickle uh, because pickles are so good, especially during the summer because usually, well right now it's really hard, but it's getting better. But uh, usually we always go out and do picnics in the forest or in a different uh, parks or anything and we do picnics and we bring bread and we do sandwiches and in sandwiches we always put some uh, cornichon pickles in them so we have always some pickles also when we have people over usually we will uh, buy some good pâté and with pâté we always eat cornichon so it's always a staple thing to have in your fridge um, then we always have some type of ham uh, we have right now this uh, left so we just um, to be able to do a bunch of different recipes, especially la quiche. So la quiche is so good, it's something we do pretty often actually. And yeah, it's really easy and pretty fast to make. So we always have some ham. We always have some something to do a quiche. So either sometimes we do it at home, like we do it homemade. I mean the, um, the dough, we do it homemade. Sometimes we're just lazy, just don't feel like it or we just want to do it quick. So we buy it uh, already pre-made. Of course, if you have time to do it homemade, it's always better. But yeah, sometimes we have uh, the lazy, whatever. 
Um, so then we always have some grated cheese, gruyere râpé. Uh, we always have that in our fridge as well, just because it's used for so many recipes like the quiche, or sometimes just to throw in our pasta or even rice or <laughs> anything you want. Um, so we always have that. Then we always have some type of eggs because uh, same like for doing a bunch of doughs or to do a bunch of recipes you need eggs so we always have some type of eggs especially right now like with the uh, lockdown and everything we've been doing a bunch of little cakes sometime in the weekend so we also have eggs for that. Then we have uh, moutarde which is mustard. So we have mushrooms, especially for meat, uh, and also to do sauce, sometimes uh, we use this one, la moutarde à l'ancienne, to do like little sauce for, uh, for dressings, I mean, little dressings for salads and stuff like that. So this one is stronger, it's spicy kind of, and this one is uh, à l'ancienne, which is a lot less spicy, and just two things we always have in our fridge as well. And then of course we have cheese. So cheese is always in our fridge. Well sometimes we try to cut it out a bit because it's not good to eat that all the time. So we try to cut it, but we always have that almost in our fridge, at least one or two. Uh, right now we have quite a few because we had family over yesterday. So we had um, a few people and so we bought a bunch of cheese. But uh, so our cheese is in, in the box like that to be able to conserve it right now it's kind of full. So we have a bunch of different cheese. We have some soft cheese like this one, if you can see it, or Roquefort, which is like this. Whoop! Just falling apart. Um, and then we have some hard cheese for sometimes recipes or just to eat. So of course, uh, sometimes we eat like really, we buy really good cheese and sometimes we buy it uh, pretty quickly at a uh, you know, at the store, so we don't always eat the same. Sometimes we eat quality cheese, sometimes we don't eat quality cheese. It depends. So it depends if it's for like a specific recipe, if it's like sometimes just for like a quickie, because sometimes we like don't have much left and we just want to go to the store very quick and get something, especially for a picnic or something, you might not get the best cheese sometimes when you just go with your friends. But uh, you, otherwise, when you sometimes have family over, we will buy like better quality cheese. So that's pretty much what is uh, the staples in our fridge. I have a bunch of other stuff, but they are not really staples. So I just wanted to show you some of the staples we uh, always have in our typical French fridge. Also, of course, we always have some type of bread. So right now we have a baguette uh, that we bought uh, yesterday, I think. So it's just a baguette like that. So sometimes we will, most of the time, we will buy bread at a boulangerie. So, because they are better and uh, usually they are fresh when we go buy them, but sometimes we'll just buy them at the store, they're usually less good, but sometimes we just, so yeah, it, it doesn't work if you just want to eat cheese or something on it sometimes. But of course the best bread is when you go in the morning to a bakery and get some fresh bread and it's so good and the crust is like all crusty and uh, the middle is all soft so it's so good. But we always have some type of bread at home to eat cheese, to eat, to make sandwich cheese, to just eat with eggs, whatever you want. Uh, we eat bread all the time. So now I'm going to share with you some of the staple tools we have in our kitchen that are more typical French and some that are staples but I, it's the same in the US or I would say probably in other countries as well. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments kind of what are similar and what are different. But so the ones that are more typical French are for example this one. So this one is to oops, spread uh, the dough of a crepe when you do a crepe, crepe, in crepe, crepe. Um, so for example, so here is a pan. So this is our crepe pan, so it's pretty wide. Um, you can see that the edges are here almost non-existent. Here they get a little, little thicker. But uh, just to be able to uh, actually, it's really light, so it's be able to flip the crepes and everything. So we have a special crepe pan. Um, so that's like this, which is really thin and not really heavy, so you can uh, flip it with a hand. So we have that, and then basically this um, lets you, when you put the dough on the pan, you can then go like this, and then you will spread the dough on the pan. So that's for the crepe, so famous crepe. So I actually probably make a video about uh, me making crepes but because crepes are so freaking good and it's just fun to watch, especially when you flip them, it's just so fun. So I probably will make a video about that. So that's the first thing. Then we have uh, our cheese knife. 
So we have a specific cheese knife. We don't use it every day. We just use it uh, when we have family over for nicer dinners. So it looks like that. And basically it's written fromage, which means uh, cheese in French. So that's just our uh, specific, specific cheese knife that we use when we have family over. So another one is this little thing. So this little thing is to put an egg in it. Uh, I don't know if it's really famous in the US, but here it's kind of famous. Uh, it's meant les oeufs à la coque, which is pretty famous. And basically you put your egg in there. So you need to cook it a bit, you put it in there and then you crack it and it's still liquid in there. And then you take little pieces of bread and dip, dip them in your egg and then just eat them, which is so good. So we do that. Um, we have also wine stuff, of course. So we have our wine opener here. Um, we have a few, but this is one of them. So next we have this little thing, which is a lid for wine bottles. So a lot of wine bottles, when you uh, buy them, there are that little lid thing, which basically uh, kind of gets uh, really thick sometimes with air and liquid. So sometimes when you put it, uh, take it out of the wine bottle, you, you have a really hard time putting it back. So we have that uh, wine um, lid that we use for every bottle that we can't uh, put the other lid back in. So we use that. So yeah, because this one you look like that other ways and sometimes it's hard to put back in there So that's why we couldn't put it back all the way It's here normally, but we can't put it really back in there because it's just uh, too thick now So also we have a specific bread knife. So that's our bread knife, which is pretty big and it has kind of these teeth in there and that's what we use every time to cut our bread. I uh, usually we cut it with uh, when we have family over because Usually if we are just by ourselves, like just with my parents and my brother, we'll just cut it with sometime with our hands, the bread. But sometime when we have family over, we will just uh, use a knife. So that's for that. Then watch, I've seen some videos saying like that's pretty typical, it's just to have a opinel, which we can't really see anymore because it's pretty old. But so that's an opinel knife. You, I don't want to open it. I, I'm, I'm sure it's always scared to open a knife because I'm scared to cut myself and yeah. Well, anyway, that's a knife. Uh, we don't usually have it in our kitchen. We usually have it in our car because we usually use it for when we go to picnics um, to get everything we have. Uh, so we always have it in our car in case it's always there. So that's pretty much all the staple tools that we have. We have a lot more things, but a lot of things also are not really typical French, but I just wanted to use some of the things like uh, the crepe thing and then the wine thing and then the cheese knife, which I love, is so pretty with the fromage in it. So, and I think it's dirty. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I wanted to show you that. What else we have is a bunch of glasses. Uh, we have glass for champagne. We have, of course, wine glasses. We have a bunch of wine glasses of a bunch of different colors because we have a large family. I mean, it's, I think it's small compared to a lot of families, but still a large family. So when we have people over, we have a bunch of wine glasses for everyone of different colors. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we have this thing. Uh, this thing, of course, is just to put your wine bottle in there and then you put a bunch of ice and it's just to keep it cool and uh, nice. However, we don't actually really use it uh, for its use, for its actual use. Now it's more like a decoration. So we just put it over there and uh, it's just to decorate kind of. But uh, yeah, it is uh, usually what you will see in restaurants. In really, really nice restaurants, they will put ice and your wine bottle in it. A few things we have in our pantry for our breakfast are first uh, little powder things to do either some uh, cafe au lait, like I said, or some hot, whoop, <laughs> some hot chocolate. That's the two things we always have at home because I personally drink hot chocolate, my parents uh, drink uh, cafe au lait. So that's what we always have. So it looks like that, basically it's like just powder and then you mix it with milk. And then um, usually my parents, they eat a lot of basically toast in the morning. So they will uh, eat some uh, bread. So it looks, it's in these little packages, of course. I mean, you have the same in the US, but um, just to show you kind of what we eat. So this little bread slice, so we put butter and then uh, jam on it in the morning and with a cafe au lait and that's what they eat sometime in the morning, uh, my parents. 
I eat that on a weekend mostly. So now I'm going to take you around a bit uh, with my phone and show you uh, the different things in my kitchen. So here first we have our sink. So as you may tell, there is one thing that is missing compared to the US is that we do not have a garbage disposal uh, grinder thingy in our sink. So I know in the US I've seen that everywhere, you have that little grinder thing where you put your trash and grind it up for you. Well, we don't have that in France, I never seen one in France, but in the US everywhere. But basically with just our sink here, we kind of hang uh, the thing to dry right after, right next to it. Then we have some liquid vaisselle, uh, nos éponges, and then after we have our microwave right here, our bread, some uh, fresh uh, food, so this is petit pois, radis, carottes. Then we have our tools to cook, so it's pretty much the same uh, in the US as well, so nothing really crazy. We have a bunch of spatula, a louche, um, yeah, just pretty much the same as in the US. Then here we have some uh, salt, du gros sel, and a bunch of random little things. Uh, then that's where we cook, so it's a fire one. So it's, here you go, you. And then we have our oven right under it. And then on that side is the rest of the uh, counter. We have a bunch of little boxes for like, we have coffee stuff in there and then some other stuff like sugar. Um, we have our little toaster, our coffee machine, and then we have some uh, wine bottles. So we do have always some type of wine. Uh, sometimes we buy it pretty cheap or sometimes we have spend a lot of money. A lot of time people just bring it to us also when we have people over. So. And then this little thing just to put treats in it. Right now it's all empty, but it's used to be uh, full of chocolate. Um, but that's where we put our little treats, like little candy and all that stuff. And so this is the counter I just show you. And then in the middle of the kitchen, you have that little table. So that's where we eat every single uh, evening, at least during the year. And right now, because we are in lockdown, or we were in lockdown, uh, we ate also always lunch here. So that's our little table. That we are forced, we are my parents and my brother and I, so that's why we, we eat in um, the kitchen. And then we always have some uh, soup and Then we have some time, my mom uh, brings some plants to cook. And then we have this is a basilic, and then we have our radio. And on this side of the kitchen, so you have the fridge with a little cute little wine thingy and Pinocchio and then we have our pantry so for example here here what we have is like we have our pasta so we have pasta normal pasta some rice some oatmeal that's what I eat um, a bunch of other stuff so like I said for lunch like we have some type of bread also we always have some type of cloth or uh, how we call it like a kitchen towel I guess um, this one is just for our hands uh, this one usually is to uh, clean up like the table or something and this is just to dry up all the dish uh, once we clean it so yeah and then we do have a dishwasher I didn't say yeah, we do have a dishwasher but there are big things of course we wash by hand and other things that we put in our dishwasher well that's it for this video I don't know if I showed you everything I just made I thought I would make a little quick a nice video about the kitchen I just thought about it today so I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you found some stuff like you didn't know we had or that are different from where you live because that's what's interesting. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time for another video. A la prochaine!